Along the road ahead lies something you need. However, in order to claim it, you must lose something that is dear to you. Hey, you think it's okay to barge in? But we gotta do it, if we're gonna find the king. The king? King Mickey's here? Something just told me he'd be here, okay? Really? Cause now that you mention it, I was kinda thinking the same thing. Seriously? Me too. One look at this castle, and I just knew. Our very best friends. They're here. <laughs> yep. Guess great minds think alike. Wait, hey, hold on. It can't be just a coincidence. Oh no, Kimmy. You don't mean that. Yep, I had it too. Mm-hmm. I had the exact same feeling. Gorge! Maybe it's contagious. No, no, something screwy. We gotta go take a look. All right. <laughs> Where are you going? That way, to the door. <laughs> are you scared? Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go, Goofy. Hey, fellers, uh, shouldn't we shut the door behind us before we go? Sora! That's it. Who are you? <laughs> I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Here you will meet people that you have known in the past. And you will meet people you miss. I miss? Riku! You mean Riku's here? If what you want... 
is to find him. What'd you do? I merely sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. To reunite with those you hold dear. What's this? A card? It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the card to open the door, and beyond it a new world. Proceed, Sora, to lose and claim anew, or to claim anew only to lose. Huh. Come on, let's go. What the hell does all that mean? Ugh. Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories. This is a blind LP. This is my very first time playing Chain of Memories. And I am indeed doing this on Proud Mode. As I said before, uh, my best friend has a copy of this game. I never bothered to play it because uh, I didn't like what I first saw. The, this whole card thing. But I guess I'll give it a swing. Okay, let's do direction buttons and select the card. Let's do or direction buttons and select the card. You currently have only one card. Well, well. Looks like this entire game revolves around cards. Looks like you're gonna be selecting cards to do pretty much. Everything in this game, even deciding where you want to go. So there's no gummy ship? That's good news. I hate the gummy ship. Okay, this can't be right. We're in Chavis Town. Uh, I do know that um, what you see isn't real. I do know that this isn't really happening because um, I played 358 days and I've seen some of the cutscenes. I know that this game takes place in the middle of uh, 358 days forget forget about that so we lost Donald and goofy and i find it i find it very ironic that that the five people who trained uh Sora, i mean not so but roxas i find it ironic that the five people who trained roxas at the beginning of 358 days are the same five people who were who, who went to castle oblivion i find that kind of Kind of coincidental. Okay, let's see what we got here. How the hell did you play this game? Okay, the laws of this castle require that your friends be transformed into cards. If you value your friends, you won't fail to pick them up. Cards you pick, cards you picked are added to the top of your stack. Use them, and your friends will come to aid. Hmm. The cards you, the cards you use vanish, but they'll reappear to aid you time and time and time again. Okay. Cards are the hearts of your friends. Everything in this castle is ruled by cards. As if I haven't figured that out already! Whether an enemy or a door confronts you, cards are the only way to proceed. But you must forget your own strength. Jump. Dodge roll. At least the basic controls haven't changed. First, first thing for yourself, move, then use the cards.
Okay, it looks like th this is very similar to 358 days. You're going to be trapped within certain areas of the, of the game where you, you, where you can't go any further. Yeah. Wow, look at that. I, I can't even attack without a card. Everything you do is a card. <laughs> you know, you know how to use your extreme, but it'll be no use if you if you save your opponent. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Instead of R one, it's R two this time to lock on. I'm gonna have to memorize that. Any move you make causes a card to disappear. If you use if you use up your your cards, you'll be unable to act. But there's a solution. Keep using cards until you run out, and I'll show you. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is attack you. you. You're blocking it. Okay, I see. Every time you use a card, you're, uh. Okay, that says nine. The one about says zero. I don't get this, uh, let me see. Anyway, let me see. Two, two, two. Okay, why did that two suddenly become a six? That makes no sense. You have no more cards, and without them, no power. If you want that power back, you must focus. Find the card, get the cards returned, and you get the card returned to you, and they will. Reload the cards quickly. Select reload card. Hold to reload card. Oh, okay. Oh, great. The cards are by no, by no means unlimited. Use them wisely. Anticipate the flow of battle. And choose the perfect cards you may want to. Uh, I'm hoping that that only works for the Mr. Battle and not the entire game. Like, like, for example, it only gets tougher for that one battle, not throughout the entire game to uh, bring your cards back. Side card list. Okay, this, this, um, this recycles your cards. Okay, I see. The four card type you choose in battle are grouped to what categories? The first category includes attack cards. Magic cards and item cards. Okay, the second category consists of attack and the enemy cards. Use to use cards for different category. Select button change categories. Okay, these are monster cards. The attack cards. Cards will employ you when you're attacking or defending, but it's up you decide when to attack and when not when to defend. Do not forget that. You two all right? Where have you been? Uh, inside the cards. You tell us. When you open the door, we saw a huge light. And the rest is blank. Gee, that doesn't help. Try to remember what happened. I have to keep my gen up to date. Hey, Donald. Where did I get these uh, new clothes? Right? Me too. Somebody's been messing with our clothes. Could it be the cards again? That is for you to ponder. Master the cards and make your way through the castle. But from here, you walk alone. Alone? We can't let Sora go alone. Yeah, Sora can't do anything without our help. Thanks a lot, Donald. <laughs> She'll be okay? Of course. You want me to go alone? Fine. I can take care of myself. 
Hmm. The hero speaks boldly. Go then. The rest of Castle Oblivion awaits. Walk the events of later memories and you shall meet someone dear to you. I've got a bad feeling about this. Relax, Jimmy the Cricket. I'm ready for any tricks he's got up his sleeve. Uh, I don't think you are. Because I know exactly uh, who that guy is in that, in that cloak. And I don't, I don't like that guy. He was very annoying in Kingdom Hearts 2. Very annoying. Uh, how can you be... How, can, how, how hard can it be to figure out these cards? All I do is use one in front of that door. Alright. Key of the beginnings. You can perform the following actions on the field. Left, right, move around, R3, face forward, swing keyblade, jump, dodge, roll. Straight edges with the field. Straight arms on the field, keyblade. Do I need my car for that too? Don't look like it. Looks like you only uh, use your car in the midst of battle. There's a blizzard, so that's my first magic spell. Your first magic spell is uh, usually fire, but in this game it's uh, ice, I guess. Oh, great, there's a heartless. Touching a heartless on this on this free starts a battle. But you can strike the heartless first you get over here. Oh, so it's kind of like a, kinda like a, a true um, RPG. I, I, I bump into a monster. And then, it, and then it's like a turn-based thing, and then we start fighting. But look, but it looks like the actual fight itself is is like a real uh, King Hearts game, except you're fighting with cards. Okay, let's see here. Uh, these are my attack cards. Mm. What the hell those the? Whoa, card break. What does that mean? Okay, this is gonna be a bad. This this is gonna be very bad. You can't just Rexy attack in this game like you did in another game. Look at that, cause I already see that if you do that, you're gonna waste items. Yeah. This is a uh, look this look, look, looks like a very technical game here. And I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of um, a lot of off-screen training before I record the next episode because this is gonna be bad. I always see that if I don't figure this out, I'm not gonna get very far. I I, I see that already because if you wreck the attack, you're you're gonna end up losing all your cards in in one one swing. The spirit points. Check your darkness. Yeah, looks like this time I can't just simply hammer the attack button and, and expect to beat this game. That that's that's not gonna work. I see that already. That isn't gonna work. Moogle points, obviously. Twenty Moogle points. I guess I'm gonna need those to buy uh, more cards and stuff. Obviously, I hate Moogles. Should be nice if I could go to the main screen and change this uh, inverted controls. To proceed to the next room, you need a card map. You can't do anything without cards in this game. Map map cards are used to synthesize new explore rooms. First, select the card map you want to use. Uh, let's see. I guess I need a certain card. The number, the number you see in the new screen is this. Uh, open the door.
Okay, I know what a save point is. I don't need to figure that out. Looks like you need to pretty much explore everything in this game. Well, that's most games, but... The Kingdom Key. Okay, don't I already have that? Was that a key bay card? Damn, even even the pole. Attacking the pole gives you these little red balls. Whatever. Okay, here's the menu screen. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do a lot of uh, off-screen training before I get to the next episode. This is a... Uh, uh, there we go. I'm definitely going to have to do a lot of off-screen training before I, I record the next episode. Because this is very... I got to get this combat system under my fingers. Because it's, it's, it's very, very different from your regular Kingdom Hearts games. As you see, I am indeed doing this on proud mode, so uh no tell how many times I'm gonna I'm gonna die here. Alright, let's see here. Uh wait a minute, a card with a number two or higher or zero. Okay, you can modify your decks. Oh boy, this is a. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna understand this game anytime soon. I'm gonna have to do a lot of off screen training. Or I might have to. I don't wanna read any guys because this is, this is supposed to be a blind LP. So I'm gonna have to learn it myself. I'll learn it. After this episode is done, I'll, uh. Okay, I see. After I learn this, after this episode, um, I'm probably gonna do some training and, if, and just figure out how I actually play this game. I gotta throw this at you to try to hit you or something, or I can just jump up and attack you like that. And it's a battle, you earn a trophy, a striker. Let's see. Um, there's a downer card. What the hell's card break me? Ah, uh, boy. Okay, let's see. Come Looks like this would be a very technical game and probably fun once I learn how to play it, but it's just, it's, see, I'm too spoiled by the other Kingdom Hearts game. I'm guess playing this game right after playing the other Kingdom Hearts game might not be a good idea. Because they are, com they are two completely different battle systems. Like this. What is this? Oh, okay, that's heal. That's an item. It's backed by Keyblade. Uh, damn it. See, I'm trying to figure out how to play this game, and I'm getting my ass handed to me by regular enemies. Let me call Goof for help. He comes in for a little while, slashes them to smithereens, and that's it. So I guess your partners are very, very important. Okay, I level it up. Let's see. HP bonus. I gain 15 hit points. CP bonus, uh, okay. Sliding dash. Oh, uh, so I'm gonna it. Uh, oh, you choose a. B this is just like Super Mario RPG. When you level up, you have to choose a bonus. Damn it. I should have chosen hit points. 
Okay, I might be set and try that again because right now I rather have high, high hit points so I can survive uh, long enough to learn how to play this game. A potion card, obviously. You, you, you can't even use a potion without a card. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is like a spring of some sort. And it is. I've played a lot of Sonic games, so that looks kind of familiar. Uh, let's see. Uh, again? Okay, I see. What the hell are those little blue things I keep getting after I kill something? I'm out of cars already? That blows. Oh, I see. Okay. Now I gotta wait three before I can do it. See me in darkness. Ah, damn, heartless. Why you guys ambush me when I'm trying to learn this game? Okay, looks like it's only for that one battle, so that's good news. Because I got a feeling I'm going to be using that a lot. What the hell is card break? No, I don't want to escape. I'm not running. Whoa, look at this. Okay, maybe doing this on a proud mode wasn't a good idea. It looks like you can't do anything until your until your pod members are, are done doing what they were doing. You can already tell that I, I, I'm too spoiled by the other Kingdom Hearts games. I'm trying to play this game as if I was playing a regular Kingdom Hearts game, but I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, do that here. In fact, uh, because of that, I might have to finish the other game before I even continue playing this one because the controls are just, the, the, the combat system is, is just too different. Die, you little scumbags. Die. Uh, die, please. Thank you. I've always hated those little flying fire things. I can't stand them. Okay, I leveled up. Now, this time, uh, let's see. I'm going to increase my hit points. Because that's what I really need right now. So I can take more hits until I get this combat system un under my fingers. It's very unfortunate that there doesn't appear to be any uh, any way to train this game. In Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, you can fight Tidus, Waka, and Selfie, and Riku, of course. In Kingdom Hearts 2, Roxas can uh, do that little struggle thing for, for, for training. In this game, however, it looks like the game starts from the beginning. There's no kind of way to train and like get all your cards back automatically after you use them and stuff like that. That's, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, the main issue I'm having... With, with, with the combat system is um unfortunately since I'm used to Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2 I'm going to be attacking constantly and every time you use the card it automatically shifts to a, a different stack or something like that so I might I might one attack three times in a row as, as if I played the first game and then I end up using a kill spell and uh, something like that that I, that I didn't want to use right then see what I'm talking about So yeah, this, it's going to take me a while to to get this combat system under my fingers. I ain't want to do that yet. Yeah. 
So you gotta keep fighting monsters to uh, get cars to just, just open the door. Uh, I meant to attack so I get the upper hand. But, oh. I mean, it it seems like the overall idea is the same as any Kingdom Hearts game, except that everything revolves around cards instead of just simply choosing it yourself. Oh, great. Looks like escaping f f from a battle in this game isn't going to be as easy as it was in other games. I didn't mean to do that. That was a waste. I, that's not what I wanted to do. Looks like I'll have fun playing it after I learn how to do it anyway. But this is a very different battle system than your standard Ken Hearts game. And I keep pressing R1 when I need to be pressing R2. I press R1, I keep stacking through my cards. So, two, three, be gone. Little insect. Card break. What the hell is a card break? I already know that it isn't good. I already figured that out. Whatever it is, it's very bad, but... I hate these damn soldiers, man. I can't stand them. Uh, die, please. Thank you. All right, your turn. Gotcha. Uh, die, please. Die. Thank you. Savages. Uh, uh, damn it. I hate when they pop out of nowhere like, like that. I forgot. The more you use it, the harder it is to restore it. I forgot already. Hmm. Okay, this game is going to be a problem. Because when you restore your cards like this, you can't move. And that can be very bad against uh, certain fights. Damn it, what the hell was that? For those of you who said I suck right now, remember that this is my first time playing this game. I'm gonna do a lot of I'm gonna do a lot of uh, off-screen training before I uh, start the, the next episode. What I probably can do is temporarily do this when I get an opening, and continue it later on. Okay, I, I can do it that way. So when I really need to do it, it won't take me long to do it. I figured that out already. Feeble darkness. For example, go ahead and charge this now just to smits and then when I really need to use it in Mr. Battle, it won't take long to restore it. I've already figured that out. I am pretty technical. It didn't take me long to to uh, learn that. Damn it. I hate these fire things. I always hate them. I keep forgetting I'm not playing the other Kingdom Hearts game. I can't just attack like that. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for today, because apparently I've got a lot, and I mean I've got a lot to learn about this game, because this uh, this uh, card battle system is really, really different than any other Kingdom Hearts games, so I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, off-screen training, so I'm probably going to be over-leveled on the next episode. <laughs> we'll see you guys later, take it easy. I'm probably already over-leveled.